more on modulate. Uh, we're going to go a little bit further into this and to start off with we'll look into the MIDI functionality. So uh, we're going to edit the MIDI map. So uh, we're going to pick a MIDI parameter and it's going to be the uh, red channel of the auto color. We wiggle a key and there it is. Pick the green, wiggle a key, there it is. Pick the blue, wiggle a key, there it is. Let's come out of MIDI mapping and we'll instantly see if we put up a clip that uh, we can change the colour any way we want using these MIDI controls. OK, well we like this clip a lot and we like this particular little bit of it even more and I've assigned the MIDI to allow me to control the in and out points on this clip and I'm going to go through it until I find the bit that I really want to work with, which is this girl here. And I'm going to isolate it from the rest of the clip so that we're just showing this. We're going to make this clip look a little bit more interesting. We're going to turn up the contrast, we're going to use the auto scale effect and we're going to set it to react to the sound in. We're going to use the auto color effect, we're going to set that to react to the sound in. And we're going to add some color to it as well. And as you can see there as I'm talking, it's now reacting away to the sound. As well as that, we're going to go over to this movie here and we're going to use the random flash function, which will allow us to uh, to just randomly go through any part of the movie and take it its sort of linearity and break it down into just a jumble of images. Let's have a look at all this with some music. So by using Modulate we've been able to sort of break up the structure of this old tap dancing uh, footage entirely and, uh, and recreate it as something new. 